Hey y'all, it's Jess and I'm back with another word. So today's word is going to be another kingdom marriage word. Um, and this is for a variety of groups like um, young, older, um, I want to say like 50s um, for sure. Um, but yeah, like we are, this is for people who were previously married and somehow got divorced or never met this person that God is going to bring to them or uh, to take you to them um, and or have were briefly together and um, like my situation briefly um, in contact and then separated so um, <clears throat> I'm going to be in Song of Solomon too and I'm, I'm really just going to let the Holy Spirit like just go have his way so we're going to bless the word we're going to bless our spiritual food before we eat it um, Father God, we welcome you in. Um, may this be a confirmation for others and or um, understanding and let you have your way. Okay, just use me, Lord, and be the vessel in Jesus' name. Amen. But I'm in Song of Solomon um, chapter 2, and I'm going to start in verse 5. Um, and it says, sustain me with cakes of raisins, refresh me with apples, for I'm lovesick. His left hand is under my head, and his right hand embraces me. I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles, or by the does, does of the field, does of the field, sorry. Do not stir up nor awaken love until it pleases. I'm going to pause there, y'all, because we are like, I wouldn't say weary, because not so much weary, like really just lacking intimacy at this point and if you've been waiting for a while like you know y'all get what i'm saying like you know some of us has been waiting for this pro this promise um for a minute like years like six years <clears throat> t no let me stop but <laughs> that or um we're just lacking intimacy and feeling like okay now, the verse 5 really speaks to me because it's like, we want to hear some good news, Lord. Like, we want to see some good news. We want to um, get some compliments. We want some physical touch, you know, here. Not, I know I'm not talking about intercourse, you guys. I'm talking about a hug, a holding of hands, uh, you know, like, nothing too deep. I'm not talking about kissing and all that. But anyways, and it says, refresh me with apples, like... You, you're waiting for God to give you like a good word about this like what's the what's the progress report Lord um because you want some love and it says his left hand is under my head and his right hand embraces me so it's like you guys are looking back at what was and it's just like the Lord is like just wait until y'all see what's to come okay because you're the past is not he didn't like that for you he said, I, I don't like that for you. I want you to have more, okay? Because you are literally the apple, the apple of God's eye. Like, and we have to realize this, like, this is our dad. Like, this is the father. We want the best for our kids. If you have kids and if you don't have kids yet, you still want the best for your kids. And if you don't want kids at all, I don't know what to tell you because we are to be fruitful and multiply, honey. But anyways, and it says, I charge you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles, or just, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> or by does of the field, do not stir nor awaken love until it pleases. And it's like with this process, I told you guys before, like, it's like when you're cooking, like you don't want to just put the meat in the crock pot for an hour and take it out because baby, is that meat done? Is it even, and then even when the meat is like cooked, like, is it going to be tender or like, you know, you just, we can't overdo it or underdo it with this. And this is something that we really can't do. Only God himself can do. So the Lord is like, leave it alone. Don't wake that man up. Don't wake that girl up yet because baby or not, some of us are not going to do anything at all, but let God move on our behalf but until it pleases is the very last three words of that of verse seven and if you guys know the number seven which i'm not talking about angel numbers because